Hello guys, Meme here. Um, yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do uh, Endorphian scene into a uh, Cinema 4D scene with a Counter-Strike Source character. So I chose a scene uh, which is also included in my uh, in my pack. You can find it right here. It is Kong right there, and it's a scene about a guy just jumping over this brick, like dashing. It's pretty cool, and you can you know like do awesome stuff with it. So we are going to load this in into Cinema 4D. All right, just open it up. So oh, I'll be open up this scene. So I already um, exported the scenes into FBX, which is uh, um, I don't know how to say it. Like you know, you can use it in Cinema 4D. So just drag it in, press OK, and select this one. Not the default, but the endorphin take. It's uh, gonna set the right uh, the right tick the right length of the scene. So right there, so you got this nice animation of this guy jumping uh, an invisible brick because the brick is not uh, exported so you can do like a jump over uh, another person or like over a box on nuke or something on ramp I don't know, just have fun with it and yeah, just merge the, the guy in it so I went to the Happy New Year and I went to 3D stuff and I, I choose a model, I'm gonna use um, Phoenix right now. So pick the object, not the VBX one, but just the object. Open it up and press OK. So here you go. Uh, you can see the guy. Now just go to the scene again. If, uh, I mean uh, to, the, to the folder. So go to 3D stuff, models, Phoenix, and drag any material. Uh, nope. And just drag it on the person. So now you got, as you can see, it's uh, it's textured. You see the nice skin on it. Nice, yeah, nice skin. So. What we're gonna, what we need to do is like align this body up with this skeleton. So just okay, take it to zero and um, middle mouse button click, so you can see the top top view. So now we're gonna first of all we're gonna grow this character into the right place. So I'm gonna grow it like there. This should be should be alright. So now I'm gonna change to the right position. So I'm gonna move it backwards like so, and let's check it on the top. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, as you can see right now, everything is looking good except the arms. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change the first frame of this animation. So, we're going to click on the on on the skeleton, open it up, and just going to look for the arms. It's yeah, it's right here. So, you got the um the clavel and the yeah, the left and the right arm. So, I'm just going to the front view. Now I'm just going to lower the clavis sole, I don't know how it's called, but I'm going to lower it just a bit. And I'm going to press this little key button, which is going to change the frame, uh, like the, the the keys. I don't know, keyframe, yeah. There are a lot of keyframes right here, I'm going to change the first one. So I'm just going to change it, like there. Uh, it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be perfect, because, yeah, it's going to be running and you don't even see the difference. So it's alright. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Just lower it a bit. Click on it and right there. I hope you forgive me for my bad for my bad English. Nah, I'm not the best English speaker in the world. I kinda suck at the moment, but I'm gonna improve it. At least I hope so. So right now it is the right position, so now we're gonna bind the uh the body to the skeleton. So we're gonna do a right mouse button on the root and click unfold all then we're gonna drag it inside this yeah inside the body and select it all so I'm just going to select this all then we're going to character and then bind if the if the button is r isn't right there because I'm using an older version it should be on the top in a drop down menu I've no idea but yeah just just look for it it's called bind with this little icon so bind and as you can see right now this is done he will start moving, and there you go. You have a nice scene of a guy sprinting over an invisible object. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you render this out, it's going to be a pretty amazing. Just double click on the material and uncheck the specular because that's not realistic. As you can see right now, it's looking pretty good. Hope you like it. I wish you all uh, um, yeah, like Happy New Year, and I hope it's going to be a good one. See ya!